Okay, today we're going to look at the procedures for adjusting exhaust valves on an F-134 Hurricane. Now the service manual says that in order to properly adjust the valve, that its tappet must be on the heel or this low section of the cam. So that would be helpful to be able to see the cam, but we can't. So what's a good way to determine when a valve is on the heel of the cam? So the way I was taught was to look at this as one cylinder, this is number one, has an opposing cylinder, which is number four. So by opposing, what we can see is when this cam lobe, this is for the exhaust valve, when this is pointing straight down, number four is 180 degrees out, pointing straight up. So what we want to do is we want to turn, turn this so that the opposing valve to the one we're going to adjust is in its full up position. Okay, so I'm going to turn this until this tappet is, comes up as far as it will go. And that looks like about right. So since the number one valve is up as far as it will go, <clears throat> that indicates that number four, its opposing valve, is as low as it will go. Or the tappet is now resting on the heel of the cam. <clears throat> In order to adjust these, we're going to use two half inch wrenches. One will fit onto the tap it, the other one onto the tap it adjusting screw, and we're also going to use a feeler gauge set at 16 thousandths of an inch. And we're going to measure the distance between the bottom of the valve stem and the adjustment screw. The feeler gauge should slide in with only slight pressure. You shouldn't have to force it. Okay, that has slight drag when I move it through there, and that's what we want. So now number four is adjusted properly. We'll turn the crankshaft now for the next valve to move fully up. We can see number three is starting to come up next. So we're going to move that until it reaches its peak right about there. By opposing valves we know number three is all the way up meaning that number two is sitting on the heel of the cam. So we're now going to adjust number two. Take our feeler gauge. It's too loose. Put our wrenches on and tighten. Remember you want slight drag. And that's it. So know that now that number two is adjusted, we want to move on and then turn the crank again. And we see that number four starts to raise. Okay, that appears to be the peak. So now we're going to adjust number one. 
Okay, number one, we're going to check it. The feeler gauge, it's too loose. So we will adjust it. Okay, that's just a little too tight. Slight drag on the feeler gauge and number one is adjusted. Now we will turn the crankshaft some more so we can adjust the final valve. We see number two start to raise. And now it's at its peak. So we're going to adjust its opposing valve number three. Okay, we'll check this first. It's too loose. Slight drag, and number three is adjusted. All of our exhaust valves are now properly adjusted.